What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be doing the best class setup for the MX9 SMG, a SMG from Modern Warfare 2 that's available for Modern Warfare 3. And I know, I know, most of you guys are going to be pointing out, like, Joe, I think this is cringe because you're using a Modern Warfare 2 weapon on Modern Warfare 3, and you just spend $70 on Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. My answer to this is, well, maybe they should buff up some of the smgs from modern warfare 3 to be honest because most of them do not work as consistently uh i'm telling you guys i use the striker i used you know every single type of smg from modern warfare 3 and i gave them so many chances and most of them are not consistent damage uh when i tested out the aug which is the mx9 uh it was very consistent in damage it actually did a good amount of damage in mid-range combat and you should see, be able to see some examples here in this gameplay in the background so uh you spot them you know you'll be able to see like how the damage is consistent as much as an AR kind of, so um, that's why I uh, I was like thinking like I should test out all the Modern Warfare 2 weapons and see if any of them have been patched. Uh, the MP7, the P90, and the Bison, all of them have not been patched and they're still strong enough to actually play as an SMG instead of like a freaking you know like you're shooting gummy bears out of your guns. But anyways, let's start off with the first attachment, which will be the Sonic Suppressor S. Um, it's actually a good attachment to have because it increases your damage range to the max. Um, if you guys know me, I like to increase my damage range to the max because I want the damage to be consistent in any type of combat. Mid-range to short-range combat, of course, long-range. You're going to have to like tap the button to make some damage with an SMG. So it's not only this SMG, it's all the SMGs uh, regardless of strength. So... Uh, moving on to the next one, which will be the 508 millimeter rear guard. Another attachment that increases your damage range. And like I said, you know, I like to keep this weapon be uh, an all-around weapon, so it can be, so it can manage itself in every type of situation. And also, the bullet velocity increases. So about the bullet velocity is very important because it helps you on the initial shot, at the initial damage of your weapon. Without it, I'm pretty sure you'll be losing a lot of 1v1 combat. So. Um, increasing the bullet velocity is very important because of that situation. You, know, you want to beat people on every single corner. The bullet velocity must be increased in order for you to make that damage immediately. So it's a good thing to have these both attachments, a good combo, because you know it gives you that initial hit, which is very important. Uh, the next one will be the 32 round mag. Now you can have it however you want, but I, I promise you guys, 32 round mags is very very useful because well you can keep on shooting large hordes of enemies you know if you think you can handle 25 bullets per mag good luck reloading every freaking five seconds because you're not going to take out at least three enemies with it you know you can barely take out two and i tried it myself and it's not that fun to use when it's like level zero so <laughs> so uh, make sure you add the 32 mag so you guys can you know get it to be used at every type of, of like large amounts of enemies that come towards you uh, moving on to the next attachment, it is the FTAC C11 Riser. Now this one, it's very important because with all these attachments that I just talked about, it actually slows down the weapon. It slows down the aim down sights. So if you guys want to counter all that, you got to add this attachment in order for you to actually keep up with the speed when it comes down to close range combat. Without it, it will act like an assault rifle weight. So with this combination right here it makes you very deadly from mid-range to short-range combat also be ready for close-range combat and the damage will always be there because of the damage range so it's a great combination all over overall you know this mx9 right now is working for me and i'm telling you it's going to do miracles for you guys moving on moving on to the next attachment you can have whatever site you want but i personally use the slate reflector and um I can see very clearly, you know. I know this one in the gameplay in the background. I'm using a different type of reflector or a different type of sight, and I know it's not updated. But uh, it's just that one attachment. I promise you guys. And the reason why I switched it out because I feel like the bulkiness of the sight that I'm currently using on this gameplay is a little bit too much. It kind of like interrupts my sight by a millimeter. <laughs> but I don't know how to explain it. But I'm telling you, switching out to the other one, it actually is a lot better. So um that's my opinion but you guys can use whatever you want on sites so that is it guys that is the mx9 best class set if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section if you guys use them yourself let me know let me know if you did good so that is it i'll see you guys on the next one